we're, we're hard on ourselves, mm -hmm. okay? We do need to take some time and look back and say, hey, we wanted this. Yes. I wanted that. Maybe it is the bad job, you know, the, the tough job that went south and it was really a rough time for a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. but, but you solved the problem and you, mm -hmm. and, and you, and you kept the, the relationship with the customer and, and you collected, <laughs> okay? That's a win. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 412th episode of Potty Talk. And hey, we're starting a new four-part series mm -hmm. entitled Turning Pipe Dreams into Reality. Ooh, Ooh, catchy, it's catchy gonna, there. It's going to be a good man. one. It's going to be a good one. Hey, mm -hmm. question for you. Mm. Where do you want to be this time next year? Mm. Huh? You know, this is the season. It is the season. You know, we're at the end of the, the year. And As we're recording this. Yes, yes and headed into a new year. Mm -hmm. Right. And about the time these will air. So mm -hmm. we want to take a look at that. Okay, and that's what this four-part series is going to do. We're going to we're going to take a look at a couple key assets that you have in your plumbing business, mm -hmm. as well as you know what you can do to set yourself up for long-term success. Okay, but starting out here, mm -hmm. okay, we want to want to get right at it here. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. and the first thing we want to do is number one, yeah, reflect on the past year. Okay, okay, reflect on the past year. Yeah. So you asked the question at the beginning, where do you want to be this time next year? So regardless, if you're watching this right when it was released, which is going to be you know, towards the beginning of 2024, or you're watching it wherever. You might be right. watching it in August of 24 or whatever. Where, where do you want to be this time next year? Right, yeah, so we're just kind of taking this, you know, as, as we're recording this, and, and these are set to air, you know, for the first time. Um, you know, we're right at a, at a new year, new okay? Year. And so there's that kind of a thing where we- This is not about New Year's resolutions. No, this isn't new, about New Year's resolutions. We're just taking this time, because this is a time of year where you kind of look at, the, okay, this 12-month this period. So that, that's a good point. You may be coming in, and discover potty talk, you know, October 25 or something right. and whatever. Uh, like okay. 30, 40, <laughs> right. maybe in your flying car so, listening yeah, to. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that runs on banana peels. What's that from? From Back to the Future? <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Okay. The fusion machine that runs uh -huh. on banana peels. Well, anyways, we want to look at the 12, a 12 month period. And that's mm -hmm. a good thing to do for, for any business and especially for your plumbing business. So yes. that's what we're doing here. Yep. And so to start that off, as we're looking ahead, mm -hmm. We do want to just check the rearview mirror, okay? We don't want to live in a rearview mirror, but it, but it's good to check the rearview mirror, mm -hmm. okay? So the first thing we're going to do is reflect on the past year, yes. okay? And in doing that, okay, again, keep this in mind. We don't want to get stuck in the rearview mirror. So when I say- Don't beat yourself up. Right. So because we, we, we do want to recognize the failures, mm -hmm. okay? Cause recognize. Fa recognize them because, you know- the reality is we learn more from our failures than we do from our successes. <laughs> so true. Okay. Why so why is that? I know. <laughs> hey, and anyone, you know, if you, anyone is successful. Okay. If you're going to be successful, you, you know, you, you got, you're going to fail. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we call we talk about failing forward. Yeah. Okay? And if you haven't, you're going to, if, right. if you're doing the right things, pushing forward, if you're, if you haven't had failures or don't plan to have any failures, you're not risking enough. Right. Exactly. You know, we like use it in the pricing thing. If, if your customers aren't pushing back, you're not charging enough. You can charge enough. Okay. <laughs> so the same kind of a thing. If you haven't had any failures, mm -hmm. okay, that means you're not doing enough. Yep. Okay. You're not, you're not pushing enough. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're not, you're, you're not hanging out there enough. Yeah. Right. So you do want to recognize the failures. Mm -hmm. And so, and again, we're not going to live with them. You're not going to beat yourself up about them, but we're going to learn from them. So it could be, you know, what happened? Maybe you had that, a good employee who quit on you you know are, are we clear on why you know he quit okay mm -hmm. what, what 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 happened there is there anything we could done better mm -hmm. um a job you know some, some kind a of customer that just went completely crazy right Patty, well, a job not, not necessarily the customer's fault right, right. exactly mm -hmm. Was it, was, it, was it something that you could have done better? Is it, to, whether it's not even just the direct work, but the communication or whatever, whatever's around that. Why did right. that, why did that relationship fail? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's what you want to do. Yes. And also look back, um, not just business, you know, we, we mostly talk plumbing business, um, but life. Look back, you know, a year from now, really kind of think back, okay, where was I uh, at the end of 20, um you know, 2022 going into 2023, where was I not only with my business, but where was I personally? How was my relationship with my wife? If you're married, how was my relationship with, with my kids? Did I say, you know, at the end of, of 2022, um, did I, I say, I'm going to spend more time with my wife or I'm going to date, you know, go on more dates or I'm going to spend more time with my kids or whatever it might be. Did you do it? Right. right. Did you do it? Or was it just a thing where it was, well, I really, really want to, but then you didn't put any plan 
into place to make sure that that had happened. Right. So if you failed at that, why? Right. That's what we're kind of looking at that. Again, we're not going to live there. This isn't to beat beat yourself up or ourselves up or whatever. Okay. I'm such a failure. Uh, I'll never get this again. right. Here I go again. Uh, uh, oh, this is what my family did. And I'm always going to be like this. No, stop that crap. Stop. Right. Okay. It doesn't do anybody any good, especially okay. your family. So you're, you're trying to have an out-of-body experience. So don't get wrapped <laughs> up into it emotionally. Try to take a look at whatever the failures were. Okay. And I hope there were some, because uh, not that they want you to go through failures, but that means you're pushing. Things right. are happening. You know, thing, you know you're falling forward, mm -hmm. and, and things are happening, and maybe something got out of, you know, out of control too quickly, or you didn't have enough tighter reins on it, which leads to the, the second point here of you know, reflecting on, on the year. Mm -hmm. You identify the holes. Mm -hmm. So by you looking at the failures, you're, you're able to identify, okay, what, what pieces am I, am I missing? Mm -hmm. Okay. The example, even just on the personal level that okay. you brought up about, you know, I was going to spend more time with my wife. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, more family time, that kind of stuff. But you really look back and realize I failed at doing that. Mm -hmm. Well, what was the hole? Maybe I, I didn't make an effort to schedule time. I need to put, you know, my schedule, we're growing here. And so I, I scheduled all my, my customers, mm -hmm. but I didn't schedule time with my family. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. As you know, making the phone ring and often is vital to your home service business. That's why I'm a fan of Search Kings. Search Kings is a Google Premier partner and have helped my clients generate leads on Google Local Services and Google Ads. If you need your phone to ring, use Search Kings and tell them Richard sent you and you need the Million Dollar Plumber VIP treatment. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash Search Kings and get on track to making your phone ring today. So true. Um, yeah, so taking time, we talk about all the time, taking time to schedule time for those things that are important, not just thinking, I really need to do it. And then when you don't do it, you just end up beating yourself up about it. Um, and we also talk about if, if you're going to say, okay, this year I am going to date my wife at least twice a month. We recommend once a week, but you know, it's baby steps, right? I'm going to date my wife at least twice a month. Um, well, then you just made a promise to yourself that that's what you're going to do. And if you don't end up doing it, you're going to feel like, man, I just, I broke another promise to myself. And then you end up beating yourself up and all the things. So if, if you say that's what you want to do, then keep the promise to yourself. Right on. Good mm -hmm. words there. Thanks. Okay. So we're doing that. Mm -hmm. We also want to take the time to celebrate the wins. Okay. That, that's you did a, have some. And that's the problem. <laughs> we, we just, when you're working so hard and pushing forward and that kind of a thing, um, you know, successful people, um, those are, you know, creators like, like you are and, and with, with your plumbing business, um, we're hard on ourselves. Mm -hmm. Okay. We do need to take some time and look back and say, hey, we wanted this. Yes. I wanted that. Maybe it is the bad job. You know, the, the tough job that went south and it was really a rough time for a couple of weeks, mm -hmm. but, but you solved the problem and you, and, and you, and you kept the, the relationship with the customer mm -hmm. and, and you collected, <laughs> okay, that's a win. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's look back and all right. We, we did that. Right. Okay. Yes. It's the thing of stopping and smelling the roses, right? right. There's, there's a reason that sayings are sayings, right? So stop taking the time to stop to smell the roses and recognize, you know what? Yeah, we did have, you know, a few things that happened. I know we say don't live them, live in them, but look at the wins and again what um it's so common as humans to look more at the negative than the positive so if you go you know so if want, you guys get um uh, google reviews right and so you may have 50 great google reviews they love you your service was amazing all the things they're just showering you with praise and you get the one crazy great customer analogy. Great who, analogy. who blasts you for something that wasn't even your fault and you spend all your time right. focusing <laughs> on that one customer instead of all the the 50 that that loved you right that's, that's a human nature thing you have to overcome so that one customer you just have to look at and go okay that that was a situation it was that's on them not on me i've i've had 50 great customers over the last year that absolutely loved me right so. take the time to celebrate the wins and and it can be just as simple as i survived <laughs> we're, we're still <laughs> that's standing a win. That, that is a, that's that, a good that, point you yeah. know if you had a plumbing business last year and you still have one this year that's a win that's a win because a lot of people give up you know that you you see it all around you people give up in life if you had a plumbing business last year and you have one this year that is a huge win. Celebrate. Go right. out on a date with your wife and celebrate. Toast to your success. There we go. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> All right. That's point number one. Point okay. number two. What? Realign with your why. Mm, okay. You know, we, we talk about this on past, um, you know, potty talks, um, you know, episodes. And of course, this is a big deal within the Success Academy and in our training, mm -hmm. this idea of why, why you're doing what you're doing. Okay. And why it, you have this plumbing business. And it ain't about plumbing. Mm -hmm. So, that's exactly what you want to ask again at this point. Mm -hmm. 
at, you know, as, as we're reevaluating, why, why do I have this plumbing business? Mm -hmm. Okay. It can change. Okay. Yep. If you're just starting out, it may be very similar. Mm -hmm. Okay. When, when you started. All right. Um, but you know, if you're a couple years in and you're doing better, your why changes. It's going to change. Okay. It's going to change. Right. And I know, I don't, um, we have, um, someone in, in the success Academy and he was just recently on the Del Nays, And I don't know if, I don't remember if he shared this on the podcast when him and Sarah were on, but when they started their plumbing business, um, they talked about one of their whys is they wanted to be able to pay the medical bills, right? They just wanted right. to be able to pay any medical bills because they have um, four kids all under the age of five set of twins. Um, and so they wanted the ability to pay medical bills without having to make payments and having that stress. And you guys probably all know, I remember those days, what that feels like, right? So that was their why at the time. When they started. When they started. But as their plumbing business grew and, you know, they've got, you know, 10 trucks plus whatever. And now they've recently sold their business and moving on to other things. Um, their why is totally different now um, than it was when they started. So that's a, a really good point to make sure you realign your why. Because if you don't, and your business is starting to be successful. Um, you know, you're a couple of years in, you're following million dollar plumber system, things are starting to, to roll. You've got to have a new why. You've got to have a new why. And again, it is not, I want to make more money. I'm using your quotes, make more money, be successful. Those are not whys. That's not it. Right. Yeah. You have, you have to clarify them. Correct. You, you have to, you have to bring them to life in living color. As they used to say, those watching probably don't remember when you know television was in black and white. <laughs> and so when it became color, I remember those, I remember right. Those and it became color is a big, big deal. Mm -hmm. And that thing was in living color, mm -hmm. you know? Right. And so you have to bring your why into living color, mm -hmm. into life in, in living color. Right. So you have to, if it is make more money with your plumbing business, which that, that may be one thing. Mm -hmm. How much money right. is are you going to make in the next 12 months with your plumbing business? Well, okay. and I want to drill down even more. Why do you want to make that much money? You know, right. what, what's the reason that you, because yeah. money is whatever. Money is just a, a thing. It's just a tool. Right. So why do you want to make that much money? Is it so you can have a, a nicer car, a bigger house, send your kids to private school, donate to charity, support your church, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Don't just say, I want to make more money. Yes, have a dollar amount, but go even deeper. Why do you want to have um, why do you want to make that dollar amount? Exactly. And you, you took it to another point there. Um, and again, we've gone over this in other episodes, mm -hmm. you know, potty talk episodes, and certainly it's, it's, it's heavy in the success Academy, yeah. but this, that you design your business around <laughs> your why. Notice that so your true. why is not about the business. You know, I just said, you know, how much you want to make with my plumbing business, mm -hmm. you know, what, what's the exact dollar amount, mm -hmm. but, but right. You took it to where, where we go much deeper. Thank you for doing that. The idea of, you know, why you want to make that kind of money. It's not just how I want to make that much with my plumbing business. It's right. why. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so you're designing your business around your life. So, mm -hmm. hey, my kids, um, I want to be able to pay the medical bills. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to go to the dentist, you know, and mm -hmm. whatever and get, get things, pay, be able to pay for it. Okay. How much, how much money is that? Right. Then when I take a look at my plumbing business. Okay, and this is, I need to make my plumbing business. I want to be making this amount of money. Correct. Right. Another thing, um, when you're designing your business around your life and around your why, um, then it it um, you can decide: Do I want to be a twenty four seven plumbing business? Right? Do I want to be be operating twenty four seven? We're on call. Customers, you know, we can go out at any time, day or night. We totally are against that. One hundred percent against that because that's no life. It is not a life to have. Um, and so if, if that's not what you want, you want to have the freedom. You want to have the freedom to go to your kids' soccer games, your, your kids' school events. You want to be able to, to take a weekend and go somewhere with your wife, whatever it might be. You just know that your life doesn't – you don't want your life revolving around a 24-7 business. So um, that's how you design the business. You, and then you decide – our business isn't going to be open 24 seven. We're just not other plumbing companies can, that's fine, but we're not because I don't want to be worried about the business on the weekend or at nights. So designing right your business around your life. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Key, key point right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, Hey, all right. If you, Hey, have something here for you for just hanging out with us. Okay. A special gift for you. Check it out. Hey, question for you. Where do you want your plumbing business to be this time next year? Stuck on the same dead end road, puttering along in a slow lane as life passes you by? Or are you ready to supercharge your plumbing business and put the pedal down in the fast lane to success? Hey, Richard Bainey, The Million Dollar Plumber, here to tell you that you'll do just that with my 2024 Roadmap to Plumbing Business Success. 
where I lay out the exact mile markers you got to hit in order to have, manage, and grow a high octane plumbing business with lots of great customers, a crew of plumbers eager to ride alongside you, and plenty of money in the tank. Now, you're going to want to buckle up because my roadmap ain't just some guy. It's the GPS to having a successful, self sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business. So, Click the link or go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash roadmap to grab your free copy of my 2024 Roadmap to Plumbing Business Success. And let's roll. All right. Okay. Welcome back. Yes. Welcome back. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, this is the first uh, first part of our four-part series, Turning Pipe Dreams into Reality. I love that. All hey, right. I want to say, too, if you're um, listening on your favorite podcast player, please um, give us a, a nice review. If you love us, we'd love to hear it. Um, if you hate us, don't bother. Um, but if you're watching YouTube or whatever, hit the subscribe button, get notified. We do um, release episodes, I think it's every Monday at, I don't remember what time. I think it's 8 p.m., but I'm not not sure. Um, yep. But you'll get notified whenever we have a, a new episode drop. So go ahead and okay. do that. Um, also, it helps, obviously, when you leave us a review or a comment on you, YouTube, again, any of the podcast players, helps with the algorithm to get the word out. So That's right. Be a lover, <laughs> not a hater. Be a lover, not a hater. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. It's cool okay. to love. <laughs> All, All right. right. So, so turning so, pipe, pipe dreams into reality. And we talked about, you know, number one, we're reflecting, you know, on the past year, mm -hmm. okay, or the past 12 month period. Right. Okay. Yep. We talked about that. You know, realign with your why, how mm -hmm. important that is, is, is extremely important. Extremely. Okay. Knowing yes. your why. Mm -hmm. And then finally here, reverse engineer the next year okay. or the next 12 month period. Okay. Okay. Reverse engineer that. You know, I think of it like this. Okay. I like those sweetheart. I know, you know, a little part of the nerd of me, I did like those amaze games. Oh, you know, yeah. I, I didn't like doing puzzle. I didn't like, I don't like puzzles. <laughs> I didn't like coloring or that kind of stuff. I like those maze games, mm -hmm. you know, you, we start here and you got to find your way through, mm -hmm. you know, to the treasure or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I learned. I always cheated. Yeah, <laughs> well, there, there is a, a cheat mode, which is, is smart here. Why don't we get out? We talk about reverse engineering. Mm -hmm. Engineering sounds hard to me. It's all the math and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> I would have been, you know, but um, the idea of what I would do is I would start from the treasure and work my way back. It's so much easier to see the path mm -hmm. and you could, you could see it really quickly. Mm -hmm. All right. And then, then you could start from the That's beginning good. and go, mm -hmm. well, you want to do the same thing for the year. <laughs> so where do you want to end up? You know, I asked that question, where do you want to be this time next year? Right. Okay. You got to ask yourself that question. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what, what do you want? Okay. And you've built it off your why mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you've come up with solutions, you know, what the holes, so you know what you want to fix when have done, whatever, that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. So what, what do things look like? you know, this time next year. Mm -hmm. All right. One thing yeah. as I'm thinking about it, and I'm going more, for, uh, not with the plumbing business, but just life in general. Um, if you say, uh, I want to be able to take um, t one vacation with my family and another vacation with just me and my wife. Okay. You know, for the year, for the next 12 months, that's what I want to do. Okay, great. Well then you have to you kind of, got to think ahead. Okay. When do I want to take that vacation? Where do I want to go? Do I want to go someplace nice and warm when it's cold? If you live in a cold, cold climate, um, do I want to take the kids to Disney or want to take them to, um, you know, skiing or whatever it might be. You have to think about that in advance and then reverse backward. Okay. So what does it mean for me to be able to do that? What are all the steps I'm going to have to take to, to accomplish to accomplish that from researching where you want to go to getting airplane tickets. If you're going to travel by air or if you're going to rent, Rent an RV. Remember that movie with Robin Williams? Yeah, like that. <laughs> That's one of our kids' favorite movies. I don't know if I would highly recommend that, but whatever it might be, yeah. think about what that is and then reverse backwards. Because if not, what's going to happen is um, you're going to get to the cold weather months and you're going to be thinking, oh man, I really wanted to get that vacation with my wife planned to go to you know, the Bahamas or whatever. And oh, maybe next year, maybe right. next year, kids, we can go to Disney. Right, That's exactly. How it so you look back. What what kind of money does it take? Right. Okay. So you, you, we translate to this Start business, the money right? Aside. Okay. So mm -hmm. okay, we need to make this much a week or whatever. I'm yeah, I'm putting so much aside that we can. We have the extra. I'm putting that right. Well, can I say yeah. I'm talking off a lot here yeah. um, with that because that's going to happen. Like if you get to the November or something or December, you're like man, I really wish I we could go, but I, I can't afford it because you know if it's going to be you know, say three thousand dollars for plane tickets and and a hotel, um, three thousand dollars at one chunk might be a, a lot. But if you would have broken that up over 12 months or even, um, you know, 26 weeks, um, that's, that's huge. I mean, not huge. I mean, it's a huge difference, you know, whatever 3000 divided by, you know, 26 might be, that's a small amount that you could have set aside and prepared 
for that vacation as opposed to now all of a sudden I got to come up with a $3,000 vacation money and it's just not right. going to happen. So I know, on the, you know, we said on the personal side, in, in our lives, I remember when we made the, you know, way back when, when we wanted to go and we don't want to call them vacations. That's, we like to feel like we're living outside, you know, the herd, so to speak. Mm-hmm. All right. So it's not vacation. It's no. lifestyle. Yes. Okay, in fact, we, that's why we call it the freedom lifestyle. Freedom lifestyle it's not a vacation. Baby. You know, we had our friends and we loved, you know, and you, know, you go to church with and all that. And they plan all year for that summer vacation plan all year. Well, we didn't, we wanted to go on four, you know, every quarter we wanted to go somewhere, do something. Okay. Mm-hmm. So we would take, you know, it costs money. What, well, well, how much are we going to spend? Mm-hmm. You know, well, you know, it's $5,000, five, you know, so, okay. Every week, Every other week, we had to put, you know, what does that equal? Mm -hmm. Okay. Put it aside, earmark it. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then with the plans, then then we had it planned out. Mm -hmm. Okay. The same thing goes with your business. You want to grow, but you know, this time next year, you know, I want to have four more trucks or I want to be a million dollar plumbing business. Well, that means I need to make $500,000 more. Okay. How much is that a month? You start breaking it down, reverse engineering. How much a week? Okay. How much, okay. How much does, you know, how many trucks do I have to have? Yeah, do I need to have more trucks? Right. So what does it look like to get more trucks? You know, how how many more times do I have to make the phone ring? Mm -hmm. So, okay, what's my marketing budget going to be? You know, that that kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. And when you chunk it down like that, it makes it a lot easier. When you look at the whole and say, okay, I got to, I got to make $500,000 more this year. Oh, that's a lot. But when you start breaking it down, you see how easy it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, when you do that, but, but you have to go through that process. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. So true, so true. Looking okay. at the whole elephant, it seems a little overwhelming, and you're just like, whoop, I can't eat that thing. Right. But if you take a little little nibble on the ear. Right, right? <laughs> a little nibble. <laughs> a little nibble on the tail. Yeah, right. Doesn't seem so bad. Right, <laughs> all right. You got that elephant done before you know it. <laughs> and okay. elephant ears are oh, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> the cinnamon sugar. Yeah, all over. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, then you're allocated. It's easier to see what you need to allocate. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, you know, that, that's the process that you, you need to go through. Right. Cause if okay. not, you're going to end up, um, again, we're going into 20, what are we going into? 2024. We're going into 20, at the end of 2024, you're going to go, what did I do? Or it's did a, pi- I, I it's a pipe it? dream. It's just, it's a, just pipe a pipe dream. dream. Yep. Okay. You, you, you know, you, ha- you have to, mm-hmm. you had to plan had, for it. Right. You had to plan for your life or your life's just going to happen to you, know, you instead of for you. So. Right. Okay. And speaking from personal experience, you know, I, I say all the time, don't do, you know, if I can do it, you can do it. You know, I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. You learn, you get sharp by just going through these processes. Sure. You know that I'm not the num- numbers guy. I don't like sitting down and going through the stuff mm-hmm. and, and paying attention yeah. to those kind of details. Mm-hmm. Okay. But once you, you break it down like that, it really is easier than what you think. Yes. And before you know it, man, you, you can see all of a sudden you're growing. I mean, mm-hmm. it just... You're taking off. Yes, okay. and it's a muscle too. You got to build right. that muscle. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Well, there we go. Okay. All so right. turning pipe dreams into reality. I'm gonna like this series. That's gonna be fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't want to miss the next one's coming up here as well. Okay. Mm-hmm. But uh, this, I think, this is a great start mm-hmm. of how we're reflecting on the year. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. And you know how how we can look forward by by you know reevaluating our why. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then designing our business around our why. Mm-hmm. And then. You know, where do we want to be? Your plan and action. Right. And then reverse engineer that. Yes. Okay. It really is that simple. Kind okay. It doesn't have to be complicated. <laughs> now, this isn't goals. That's the thing. We're not talking goal setting no. here. Okay. No, but it's not this. All right. This is but mindset. This is mindset and, and lifestyle. Right. That's what it is. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Here we go. Hey. Good one. Hey, if you want help, okay, or insight or input, okay, on what we just, what we're talking about here, okay, let's have a conversation. Let's talk. Okay, simply go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash call. All right. And schedule a little bit of time, about 20 minutes or so. Mm-hmm. Okay. 20, 30 minutes. They tend to go long. <laughs> we can't help it. We get you on the phone here. We love talking with you. I want to just want to help you, you know, with a success coach. All right. So, you know, give us a call. Let's have a conversation. Mm-hmm. We'll go from the there. Million dollar plumber.com forward slash call. All C-A-L-L. right. All yeah. right. I look forward to speaking with you. Yeah. All right. Hey, until next time. I want to remind you, as always, that you were purposefully and wonderfully created. You were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. Bye, everybody.